Hi guys, my name is Harold Amenya and I'm here to face the fans. <laughs> Well, I think it's something that is naturally existing. Um, in the beginning, I didn't have to seek training, um, so I just got into it, and then as time went on, I developed my skill through research and, you know, studies. My best role so far, I think um, the role I played in XOXO, Josh, um, I'll tag that as the best. <laughs> that's that's very ambiguous. Um, best, oh, come on. There's been a lot of it. A lot of it. I, I can't, I can't, I can't think of a specific one. There's been a lot of it. <laughs> yes, I've played several sex scenes, but um. The most daring one was one that I played in a Ghana, in a Ghana Nigeria production where I had to actually go butt naked, you know. And um, I wouldn't do that now. I mean, that was earlier in my career, I was pushed to do it. So I did it just because, you know, I had to do it. Um, how did I prep up? I didn't have to prep up, I just got into it. I was, you know, I'm, you know, ready, we're always ready for anything. So I did it. I didn't have to prep. <laughs> Yes, the sex scenes, well, it depends on what you mean by the, are the sex scenes real. If you have to go back naked, you have to go back naked, but there's no penetration. So, um, if that's what you mean by whether they are real, then they are not. Well, it's interesting that you ask this because I was just telling a friend a couple of days ago that when it comes to um, life and how we are able to come out successful is really by grace and sometimes it sounds cliche when you say that but as much as we try sometimes Charlie if you're not accepted and whatever no matter how hard you try it will just not you know it will just not make a difference so how have I been able to stay um, um, on top of competition I'll just say it's by grace I've got a couple of people that I have a lot of respect for. Um, locally, I would say there are a couple of them, but top on the list is Ajete Anand. Um, in Hollywood, Joseph Benjamin is someone that I admire a lot. And then, you know, internationally, you know, when I say international, you know what I mean. Um, Hollywood, Denzel Washington. Uh, my friends don't care about fame. My friends are people that barely watch TV. They don't give a hoot. <laughs> they don't give a hoot. They're just normal. Same old stuff. You know, they say all the nonsense to me anytime. I also say it back to them. <laughs> Our attitude, um, our attitude, especially the stakeholders, um, I just wish that we were a bit more um, united, you know, a bit more united is something that I would have loved for, for us to be. Now I shall without um, um, without thinking twice. She's amazing. Um, the chemistry is great. Um, you know, we just we just flow. Anytime we do anything together, it comes out really well. It's as if we live in the same house. <laughs> Ooh, 
I love both. <laughs> I love both. Um, each one gives me a different challenge. I love both, to be honest with you. I love both. I really love both. Ladies in the movie industry, ah, I doubt, I doubt, um, I doubt, not that I've noticed. <laughs> Maybe it has happened and I've, I've not paid attention, but I doubt. Every guy, every single, well, not even a single guy, every guy gets that. Every guy, you know, is expected to get attention from the opposite sex. So, um, I, I really don't pay so much heed to that. It, I just, you know, just be nice to them in return. And it ends at, it ends at that, it ends at that. Um, I pray for my roles. I pray for my. I pray for my roles. I pray for opportunities. So maybe if 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 anything, maybe I prayed a bit longer for a role. Maybe I prayed a bit longer for a role. Um, yeah, I pray for my opportunities. Um. I like I like a, I like physically I like a lady who is fit. I won't lie. I like a lady who is fit. It doesn't necessarily have to be a slim lady or whatever, or a curvaceous lady or whatever. They just have to be fit, right? You can meet some very thick girls or plump people who are fit. So um, being fit is definitely something that gets my attention physically. And then inside you have to be hardworking. Okay, you have to be hardworking. I don't know if that is um, an inner quality or an external quality, but yeah. Um, you know what I mean, you get the drift. So you have to be hard working, you have to challenge me. Worst rumor I've heard about um, that I was married to Nash, <laughs> Well, I have a new TV show called Coffee Break um, that is out. So yeah, it's, people should look out for it. It's on YouTube and then very soon coming out on this specific channel. So yeah, that is um, something I'm working out on. And I also have a, a TV series that is out. Um, it's actually premiering on the 23rd of September. I don't know when this is going to show, but yeah. Boy Zone is coming out on the 23rd of September. It's going to be available on the Farmhouse app. So go download the app and subscribe to it. Boy Zone, that's my latest work. Check it out. Coffee Break is um, an amazing show. Um, it's just like your, you know, like a male version of Ellen DeGeneres show, the Ellen DeGeneres show. So we have your favorite personalities coming on. Um, it's just, you know, throwing more light onto people who are doing exceptionally well in their various fields. It does, it's not necessarily entertainers, but um, people that are making a difference in their various fields. So um, as time goes on, you're going to get to meet amazing people who are doing exceptionally well on the show. Just, you know, up close and personal and then, you know, just get to learn, learn what they've done and then the things that they have been able to defeat or conquer to get to where they are in life. I'm into a couple of things. Um, I, I run an insurance brokerage. Uh, I run an insurance brokerage. I also, um, I'm a partner of um, an e-commerce company called Empomat. So yeah, that pretty much also takes a lot of my time. I mean, that's basically what I'm doing if I'm not on set. Ah, I'm the silliest guy you can ever meet. <laughs> I'm the silliest guy you can ever meet, like the most silly guy you can ever meet like it's silly <laughs> when i say silly silly you know what i mean yeah i can be silly very very silly very 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 jovial and ridiculous <laughs> i can say the most ridiculous things <laughs> all the crazy things you can think of yes they can come out of my mouth I would have been a lawyer. 
<laughs> I would have been a lawyer. I would have so been a lawyer. Funny enough, everybody I went to school with, well, maybe not a lawyer, but well, personally, I would have been a lawyer, but other people, you know, would thought that I would end up as an accountant because back in school, math, math was my thing. I was always into math, you know. I'll be the type of person who top my math class, you know, math, math, math. Anything that's got to do with numbers, I'll always score almost almost 100%. And it was, I, I ended up doing math in the University of Ghana. That's how bad it was, my love for math. Hi guys, my name is Harold Amenya and guess what, I just face the fans right here.